so hello everyone today on this video we'll learn how to get started with spring boot project a basic application on spring boot that will generate a hello world as a as an output so let me first start it start by saying it that there are two methods to actually generate a spring boot application structure so the first one is simply you can go to your browser and you can actually go to start dot spring dot io and there you can uh, it will open the spring initializer here you can actually make a project a basic project you don't need to actually change these configurations as we are making on java only so let us make a demo project here uh, you can uh, name it as anything uh, any name you can give any description you can give we have to make a jar of it and you can actually configure the java version as that is being installed on your uh, system so let me select it as 8 as uh, 8 is being on my system so here we have to add some maven dependencies so if i go uh, if we are making a basic project so we can add a basic maven dependency that is spring web that actually provides you all the features to actually make a restful application a spring mvc application and gives a apache tomcat as default embedded container that is the server where the application will run so you can select this and then you can directly generate the project it will get downloaded you can unzip it and you can import it in your id whichever id you are using the other way is that uh, that i am using an id that is eclipse so here you can actually go to files and then go to new then go to spring starter project uh, the spring starter project option would be visible to you when you have already configured spring boot to your ide that is by going into the marketplace of the ide and uh, getting the uh, the jars of uh, spring boot enabling the spring boot for your ide so here you go to spring starter project the 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 whole the whole uh, process is same as explained on the browsers uh, same goes for the id as well you can name the project here you can give that group artifact version and then java version you can here give you can tell the packaging whether you want a war or a, or a jar then you can uh, simply go next and then you have to select a uh, maven dependency so you can select the maven dependency as spring web that is the basic dependency which i showed you on the browser you can select this then go next and then finish it when you finish it uh, the project is directly uh, imported to your ide and you can start working on it as it takes a lot of time to import the project so i have already done it so i am cancelling this one and i'll take it take to you take it to you to this project and you can see the structure of this project so here we have a default package that is com example test and where we have a test application dot java that is the main application which actually uh, 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 you can see that the main method is also defined here the, which runs our application and this there is a, a annotation spring boot application at the rate spring boot application which tells you that uh, the the class is marked as a configuration which can declare one or more bean methods so this is the purpose of this application uh, now uh, as we are as we go ahead and we want to make a hello world running application so we need to make a controller so let us first make a controller package here so simply go on new and package you can say it like dot controller and next and then you can create a new class here so i'll create a class here as spring boot controller and it is done right if if we want to make any class as a controller we need to mark it by a annotation called as at the rate rest controller or maybe at the rate controller so uh, i'll explain these two annotations in some other video but let us uh, focus on the code first and let us take the annotation as at the rate rest controller uh, right rest controller 
we can import it and now we will declare a basic method that will return a string that is our hello world so we'll say the method name as say hello and we'll return hello world how are you so we'll return this from our controller but the problem is that when uh, the application reads the application con uh, context so it fails directly on the controller class so it reads the mapping so if we uh, if we don't provide any mapping on it then our uh, controller would not run so we need to provide a mapping by saying it as a request controller sorry request mapping request mapping and then we have to define a particular mapping for it that is uh, hello right and we save it now uh, the controller part is done then we will uh, go to the browser and we uh, simply say slash hello and this should be printed on our browser so uh, how to run the application is that go to your test application dot java class and simply right click on it there is run as method go to spring boot application so here it runs you can see the logs as well in the console which will tell you that the application is running and on which port it is running so let the application start running yes the application is running now sorry the application failed to start because it was already the port was already in use so let me see that if the application was previously running yes the application was previously running on 8080 so i'm closing that application first okay i should close that application and then i'll run again so it should run perfectly fine now as it uses the default port you can change the port as well in the application.properties files that we'll cover in some other videos going ahead so the application has started you can see that this application has been started and the port is 8080 so simply you can go to your browser and you can type in here as localhost 8080 slash you can simply say 8080 and it will say white label error as we haven't defined our mapping so we'll say hello yes it prints hello world how are you so this was it for the video i would love to hear your feedback or some queries if you can into the comment section so i'll be coming up with some other new videos of uh, related to spring boot and java project based where i'll be showing you the coding as well and i'll provide my repository as well on git uh, sooner in some other videos as well so stay connected subscribe to my channel and do like and share this video and i would love to hear you in the comment sections so thank you so much i'll get back to you